Fan fiction must be stopped. Hey, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my my brain at 2 a.m. in the morning. So if you couldn't guess by this and that and my channel and literally everything about me, I do in fact read fan fiction. And part of being a fangirl that reads fan fiction, you get to choose your branch, much like you do in the military. Do you want to read fan fiction on AO3, archive of our own, you know, a person with culture, or Wattpad for the delusional girlies, or Tumblr for the chronically online? And if you're old, fanfiction.net, or DeviantArt, or Quotive, or Live Journal. Yeah, I've read fanfiction on a lot of different websites, some of which I can't even remember. Like, people would just be posting shit on Tumblr and be like, go to this completely shady website that's probably going to steal your information and sell it to China, but hey, you get to read a Hitalia fanfic. But anyway, yes, I've read fanfiction on a bunch of different sites. I consider myself a seasoned veteran, and I can definitely say that each platform has its own culture if we wanna call it that. And considering that it's almost Valentine's Day and you and I both know where you'll be, you and I both know where I'll be, right here in my bed, eating chocolate, reading fan fiction. And you probably will too. So this video today is to talk about almost like choosing a lover on a dating app. You know, we're here to choose which website of reading fan fiction is right for you. And maybe, just maybe, they'll teach you how to love. If at any time you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe because I make videos like this all the time. Well, not really. Not, not really, but like I would love to continue to make videos like this. So let me know down in the comments below. I love stepping out of just doing review content and actually like talking about fandom stuff. Those take a little longer, but this one just came to me, like I said, at 2 a.m. in the morning. Well, from like 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning, really. Um, so if you do like this, please let me know. I would love to make more stuff like this. If you have any topics within fandom culture you want me to talk about, let me know down in the comments below. And let's jump into it. So let's start with Tumblr. Now, Tumblr is probably one of the most known and least known i have an entire video that i'm going to make about tumblr and why people have wildly different experiences on tumblr far more than like any other social media website i feel like but for the most part a lot of people read fan fiction on tumblr in fact if you look up literally any fandom any any fandom on tumblr and you just scroll you're like bound to see just fan fiction fan fiction and some of it's not hidden very well some of you just sometimes you'll just see smut the first line will just be that which like back in the day i hate to be that girly but back in my day when i was a child with unrestricted internet access perusing tumblr i did not like get smut fan fiction in my face about how your favorite character is going down on you i never got that and i don't know if it's an algorithm or what but it just in your face and never under read more. I think Tumblr is a very popular place to read fan fiction because of its ease of access. You don't wanna go somewhere sometimes to just read fan fiction. If you're just dipping your toes into fan fiction, you may not wanna go dedicate yourself to an entirely different website like Wattpad or even AO3 to try and download an entirely different app and get used to an entirely different ecosystem when you have a social media app that you're already on far too much during the day where you could just read your fan fiction there. And that means that a lot more people can create fan fiction. It takes two seconds to just click make post, type something. Well, it doesn't take two seconds to write something up. But it, it, you know you know what I mean. It takes two seconds to just make a post. You don't have to go through the rigmarole of formatting or anything on Tumblr if you don't want to. And oh boy, does it show. Because I feel like it is very beginner friendly on Tumblr, to put it nicely, we get a very specific culture of fan fiction on Tumblr. Now, this only makes sense if you read fan fiction on Tumblr, but it is an echo chamber. It is an absolute echo chamber. So if one person starts to write a specific way, all the rest of the Tumblr girlies, especially within the anime fandoms, are going to start to write that way. So for instance, it doesn't matter if it's a reader insert or if it's like a ship fanfic, it does not matter. Whenever it comes to smut, please, you two, please don't age restrict me for it. But when talking about Yahoo-ha, you know, the, you know, I have never seen so many different disgusting ass, uncomfortable ass words to describe your, I don't, I don't, gummy walls. That sounds gross. Like I just, <laughs> I saw something on Twitter that was like syrupy walls. Cunny, the word cunny, 
see you and and why why are we making up new vocabulary i i just was thrusted back into the days where i was reading fan fiction on deviantart yes i read fan fiction on deviantart i told you i read that shit everywhere and you know back when lemons and limes were a thing i'm not even gonna explain that if you just know what it is you know what it is and here's your veteran card okay but some of the vocab on tumblr is just horrendous it's horrendous. You got people, you got characters slurring their words. I'm mostly talking about smut here, but you got characters slurring their words like they don't know how to speak. They're like, um, you know, the like when you abbreviate a word with an apostrophe. So for me would be for me. And it's just, it's so bad. Like once or twice, it's like, okay. And also with specific characters, if it's like, you know, the bad boy type of character, you're more likely to see it. Why are we seeing characters that would never ever speak this way, speaking this way? And, and like, I get, I guess I can get the appeal. Cause it's like, oh, well he's losing himself so much in the smut that he just like, can't speak coherent words anymore. Which brings me to my next point, which is like, I do not think that some of y'all have ever had sex. Now, you do not need to have sex to, you know, write about it per se, because a lot of fan fiction is fantasy, right? It's, it's your mind, whatever your mind makes up. However, because of the echo chamber, that is Tumblr, you'll see one person write a completely offhanded fantasy about sex. And then another person sees it and it goes, oh, so that's how I should be writing my smut. And it just turns into this back and forth game of telephone where it gets to a point where I'm doing this. Why am I doing this to figure out what position we are in? Like, what is, what, what are you talking about? I, <laughs> and also because of that, we get the same type of tropes, the same type of kinks and the same basic fanfic over and over and over and over again. Now I say all of this and it seems like I'm dogging on Tumblr a lot, even though it is the easiest ease of access. I feel, I find myself going on Tumblr sometimes a lot instead of like AO3 because AO3 and we'll get to AO3. I feel like I am just, I have to strap myself in for AO3. Tumblr, I can just do a quick read and keep scrolling, which is part of the appeal, right? You can just keep scrolling afterwards. That doom scroll, but instead it's just the same smut fanfic over and over and over again. Now, that being said though, when you do find the gems, when you find those gems, especially reader inserts. Reader inserts are so bad on Tumblr. They are so bad. <laughs> but when, sometimes you'll find that one, that one gem, like it's an actual story. It's not just smut, it's corn with plot, if you will. And it's just, oh, it is so good. And then I have figured out how to turn on the date system on Tumblr. And you see that it's from like last year, two years ago. It's the saddest thing ever. You go to that person's like uh, Tumblr account. They haven't updated in like years. And you're just like, wow, where did you go? You probably went to AO3 for being honest, but like, why'd you leave me? <laughs> So anyway, getting a little bit into the kink territory, I'm not gonna explain too much because I really don't want this video to get age restricted or demonetized, but if you go onto Tumblr for five seconds and look at the types of kinks, you will find these same kinks over and over and over again. Like slight degradation, BDSM, not even like good BDSM, just like, oh, he's a mean dom or whatever. And it's just the same over and over again. And especially for certain characters, if you're like me and you tend to like some of the more like rough around the edges characters, don't go on Tumblr. Do not, do not. Aaron X reader fanfics. We need to have a conversation. For my Attack on Titan, we need to have a conversation. Because, girly, I've seen that, like, I'll literally start reading one and I'll be like, okay, I've read this before. And I'll scroll down to see if I've read it because I usually, I at least give it a like, even if I didn't really like it. I'll give it a like because I like, that makes me know that I haven't read it before. I see that I haven't liked it, so I haven't read it. But girl, I promise you it's the same fanfic, almost word for word, it's the same. Uh, Anyway, the takeaways from this hell spawn of an app are that being an asshole is apparently a part of the game. So if you like assholes and people who are mean to you, then Tumblr fanfics are probably for you. If it's not smut, it will probably be boring. And if you're just trying to have a nice little fluffy time, you're not gonna get it. Or you're going to be extremely bored and very quickly just turn to smut so you can find something to live for. So honestly, if these are, if these are all for you though, at the end of the day, Tumblr does have some hidden gems that make me come back to it almost every single day. When I am on Tumblr, no matter what I'm looking up, I usually reach for it anyway. So Tumblr, as a good lover, mm, it's a little toxic, but the good times are good and you tend to only remember the good times.
Yes. Next we have Wattpad. I'm filming. Oh, the babies are asleep. Or one baby is asleep, the other one is acting up. Yeah, I'm staring at you. Come here, come here. It's not a video if Miss Ma'am doesn't come say hi. How do you feel about fanfic? Uh -huh. okay. Thank you, ma'am. Please don't step on my computer! <laughs> I got her to walk away. <laughs> Now, next, we are talking about Wattpad. Now, Wattpad, I still consider to be a social media app, even though it is strictly for writing and reading. I still consider it, based off of its social media presence that it has, to be a social media app. However, it is removed from, like, any other social media app in that you're not posting your status on there. You're posting full stories. You're reading full stories. But you can still connect with people, and that's enough for me to say it's a social media app. So it's a little farther removed, which, you know... There she goes again. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. She's like, no, I want to go up here. <laughs> the way she's like, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey, hello. I'm trying to film here. What do you have to say for yourself? Let me do the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you go take a nap like your brother? So one thing that I do like about Wattpad, starting with the positives, is the fact that they're easy to read comments. I like the fact that you can comment on a specific section of the story. That was really fun to me, especially when I was in middle school reading Wattpad fan fiction, because it felt like I was connecting with people and it felt like I was having a conversation with people, which is why to this day I still say that it's a social media website. You can have conversations with people and on a specific part of the story. Something that I wish AO3, okay then. Something that I wish AO3 honestly had because when I'm reading like a 25k one chapter 25k words yeah i need to like and i want to talk about a specific section of the actual story itself i would like to be like hey remember that one part in that one section kind of like how you can do on youtube where you can just be like hey here's the timestamp. i'm talking about this section i would love to do that on ao3 now i will get to ao3 in a second but i'm not gonna ask too much of ao3 right now it's already god's heaven anyway but Wattpad has that feature, and that's probably one of the most alluring features to somebody who reads fanfic and wants to still have that social aspect like you would on Tumblr. Please, please, please. Also, it's a really good step up from the beginner level that is Tumblr for writers because you can get paid on Wattpad. Yeah, if you didn't know, nowadays, you can get paid much like a content creator on any other content creation platform can get paid. Now, I don't know how much and if it's worth it or if it's like the creator fund on TikTok where you get literal pennies. You know, I'm just gonna leave her there. I don't know if it gives you like pennies, I'm not sure, but I do know that there are paid stories that you can view, which is cool if you're trying to actually, you know, start out in the world of publishing, there she goes. If you're trying to actually start out in the world of publishing, then you might want to be able to put something that is professional and has given you money on your resume to be like, hey, I got people to read something that was paid on this website. So yeah, if you really want to start like, you know, your publishing career and to be able to show bigger publishers or even writing groups or whatever that, hey, I do get published, um, I've made money off of this and it kind of solidifies you as like, I don't know, more legitimate, which is another conversation for another day. But hey, that's it's giving small business owner, entrepreneur, girl boss. So that's something. But much like Tumblr, there are some very interesting tropes that we need to talk about and discuss. So for Wattpad specifically, it's leaning more into the... Uh, the romantic novel territory which there's nothing wrong with a romantic novel but it does still some of them and a lot of them especially the fanfics fall under the same tropes um as romantic novels tend to do so you have your ceo millionaire billionaire dude who falls in love with this homely girl you have your vampire werewolf falling in love with the homely girl and then you have the bad boy mafia boss gangster who falls in love with a homely girl. In fact, I distinctly remember, and I logged into Wattpad yesterday to make sure this was true, that I was in love with this. It wasn't a fanfic, it was an original story. And it's called Stray. And one day maybe I'll read it because apparently it got rewritten. I don't know how recently it got rewritten, but I wanna read it low key because I was obsessed with that fanfic. I, it's not a fanfic. I was obsessed with that story. Let me tell you, it didn't matter where I was, I was reading that story. I was at a banquet for a Girl Scout thing in the corner reading fanfic. I was at school at PE sitting on the bleachers reading this fanfic. It did not matter where I was in the car going to church. I was reading this, did I call it a fanfic? I'm sorry, I was reading this story. 
I, if, if that story was behind a paywall today, or if it was behind a paywall back then when I was obsessed with it, I probably would have paid for it. I have no idea if it still holds up to this day. All I know was that 13 year old me, it had a grip. It had a grip on 13 year old me. And that's something you can't replace. That is not something that you can replace. And girly, it'll make you stay. Wattpad is the lover that will make you stay. It'll make you forget all of the weird vocab that they say sometimes, but hey, it's good. It's good. Or at least you remember it to, to be good. You might not have nostalgia glasses on. So the main takeaways from Wattpad as your lover of choice. If you're always the victim, if you like jealous lovers, if you like vampires, werewolves, and Harry Styles fan fiction, then Wattpad is the lover for you. And if you like to do a little business money on the side, if you know what I'm saying. So lastly, we have to talk about the God King itself, Archive of Our Own. I don't know the history of Archive of Our Own, maybe I'll do a deep dive one day, but I just know I went from Wattpad to Tumblr or Tumblr Wattpad to archive of our own and I never looked back. When I indulge in Tumblr, I know that I am scraping the bottom of the barrel, no offense. <laughs> but archive of our own, it's like walking into a palace. You don't know how to act. At least me, when I first got onto Archive of Our Own, I didn't know how to act. In fact, I was actually very overwhelmed with the amount of things that you could do on AO3. I, first of all, the tagging system, God's gift. God's gift to earth. Finding, trying to find a certain tag on Tumblr for anything is atrocious. Now I'm not, I, I'm gonna expose myself a little bit here and not like I have, haven't been already, but I do like a good office AU. I love a good CEO secretary AU, you know what I mean? So when I find that story, I found one story on Tumblr the other day and it was oh, juicy. It was good. I was like, I need some more of this. I try to type it in the tag. I get a fanfic from like, what? what's the name of that cop show? Nine one, I think it's 911, which just shows you how like deep fandom goes on Tumblr, but that's not the point. The point I'm trying to say is, it's horrible trying to find anything with a tagging system on Tumblr, which is crazy because that was one of the major things that Tumblr was known for back in the day is having such a, a succinct like tagging system, but trying to add one tag on top of another is really hard to do on Tumblr. But on AL3, there's an entire system for adding multiple tags at once. You want your office AU, but you also want it set in the future, but you also want cyberpunk vibes, but you also want it to be corn with plot, but you also want it to be a multi-chapter fic, but you also want it to actually be completed so you don't get left hanging out to dry. You can literally put all of those in and get the fanfics that you need. And it's there's so many people on a archive of our own that you are bound, bound to find that. And because there is so many fan fiction on Archive of Our Own, you are bound to come across things. Now here's the thing, when I first started on Archive of Our Own, I did not know about this tagging system, or rather I didn't know how to use it properly. I would literally go into the search bar and look up a pairing. So let's say I wanted like Naruto and Sasuke, I would literally just type in Naruto x Sasuke into the search bar and like see what popped up. And then I would click on like the, the most of the um, fanfics will have the tag like separated, like on Archive of Our Own, most um, ships, are tagged like Sasuke slash Naruto. And then you can click on that and that'll take you to the tags like actual page. And that's what I would do instead of just going into the filters and then typing. I just never, I never, <laughs> I never did that. I did not know. I didn't even know you could sort by kudos. So you can sort by which one has the highest likes. Didn't even know you could do that. I didn't even know you could exclude tags up until a year ago. I didn't know you could exclude. That is, that is, genius excluding tags because no i don't want to see we're getting there we're getting there so going back to the fact that me like two years ago who didn't really know how to, i've been using ao3 since high school so it's been about almost eight years but <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing half the time. So me like two, three years ago, I'm sitting here like, oh, I'm just gonna scroll through the Naruto slash Sasuke tag and find what I like. Because again, I'm working off a of Tumblr rule, so you can only put one tag in at a time. And scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And it's that's where it comes into play. When you don't know what you're doing on AO3, this is not for 
like your average Joe. You almost need a wiki to figure out how to use Archive of Our Own. And to this day, I am still finding out how to do things on Archive of Our Own. It's crazy. It really is crazy because I would literally be scrolling through the Naruto Sasuke tag, just for an example. Like you don't know whether or not you're gonna get the most juicy, heart-wrenching, grabbing, fanfic you've ever read in your entire life or oops incest now at least most people have the decency to tag that degenerate ass stuff but most sometimes they don't sometimes they don't pain luckily it is very frowned upon and i think you can report these people if they don't tag their stuff right especially when it is darker stuff like that um so you never know what you're getting into really it's it's a mixed bag and you just have to be prepared to duck and weave and bob through it but hey if you're willing to fight if you're willing to look up a wiki AO3 might be the lover for you. So the main takeaways from AO3 is that it's reliable, it's sturdy, it's seasoned, it's been in the game for a while, but also has a very interesting, interesting dark side. And maybe, it may be just be a little bit too much for you sometimes. But hey, if you can hold in there for those rides and go through with a fine tooth comb like you're panning for gold, you'll find it oh you'll find it so in conclusion i should go outside though it is like 14 degrees outside so i'm not going outside but i will put my phone down for like longer than just two minutes to make this video um <laughs> i read fan fiction all over the place like i said my main things are ao3 and uh tumblr and we could have an entire conversation we probably should have an entire conversation about how fan fiction and other forms of fan media are kind of destroying our brains and our expectations when it comes to uh sex and relationships it definitely has for me and i have had to work a lot to unpack those and kind of unlearn those especially as i enter the dating pool Ugh. Ew. But anyway um i just have to realize that no one will ever be zoro and I have to live with that. So anyway, thank you for watching all the way until the end. You are a real one. If you'd like to see more about this, if you want me to make that serious video about how fan fiction is low-key ruining our brains, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see from me. I keep forgetting to say this. Literally, all of my social medias are down below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.